Hello everyone, my name is Isabella and I'm an advocate at the TARS Foundation. Today I'm going to talk about Docker and how to deploy TARS on Docker. So let's get started! First of all, what is Docker? Docker is a software platform that simplifies the process of building, running, managing and distributing applications. What Docker actually does is that it packages an application and its dependencies in a virtual container that can run on any operating system such as Linux, Windows, and macOS. This enables the application to run in a variety of locations, such as in a private or public cloud. And what is the problem that Docker solves? So let's imagine that we have three different Python-based applications that you plan to host on a single server, which can be either a physical or a virtual machine. And each of those applications make use of different versions of Python, as well as libraries and dependencies that differ from one another. And since we cannot have different versions of Python installed on the same machine and run those three different scripts at once, this will prevent us from hosting all the three applications on the same computer. And that there where Docker comes uh, into place. So the solution is that Docker is installed and running on what we call as a Docker host or a host. And whenever you plan to deploy an application on the host, it will actually create a logical entity uh, of that application. And in Docker terminology, this is called a container or a Docker container. So a container doesn't have any operating system installed on it, but it would actually have a virtual copy of the process table, the network interfaces and the file system. And this would all be inherited from the operating system of the host on which the container is hosted. So uh, this will allow each container to be isolated from the other that are present on the same host, such as container one, two, and three on the image here. And this will actually support multiple containers with different application requirements and dependencies to run on the same host, as long as they have the same operating system requirements. So based on this, what are the advantages of using Docker? The first one, as I just mentioned, is that you can run multiple applications with multiple requirements on Docker, as long as they have the same operating system. Also, the storage is optimized because a large number of applications can be hosted on the same host and containers are usually few megabytes in size and consume very little disk space. And the last one is robustness. So as I mentioned, a container does not have a operating system installed on it. So it consumes very little memory if in comparison to a virtual machine. And this will also reduce the boot up time in just a few seconds if compared to a virtual machine. So just to summarize and remember the terminology that we mentioned, we have a Docker image which is actually a template that contains the application and all the dependencies required to run the application on Docker. We also have a Docker container that is a logical entity. Uh, it's basically a running instance of a Docker image. And we have Docker Hub, which is the official online repository where you can find all the Docker images that are available for us to use. Uh, we are going to use all these terminologies when we deploy TARS on Docker. So this was a brief introduction about what is Docker. And now we can uh, actually deploy TARS on Docker and you can access our GitHub and download the source code. And I'm gonna show you how to deploy TARS. So the first thing is to make sure that you have Docker installed on your computer and you can download Docker on the Docker website. I'll add the link in the description box below. First, you need to create a Docker network. Then you need to run the MySQL service. And if you don't have MySQL image installed, Docker will automatically detect and install it for you. Don't forget to add the path in your computer in which TARS database will be deployed. Finally, you can run the TARS Docker image. You also need to change the path to the TARS framework on your computer and those folders will automatically be created.
Then you should access your Docker interface and make sure that both containers are running. And if either one of them, MySQL or TARS framework are not running, you should start them and check the log to see if they are already deployed. Then to access Docker, you need to access your browser and type localhost in the port 3000. So you should be able to access TARS web management platform now. The first thing to do is to create a password and access the platform. So now you'll be able to access all the service governance features, publish services, see in which IP each service is running and so on. So I'll add all the used commands in the description box below, and you can also copy them from the TARS Docker GitHub. That's it for, for this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video that will show how to deploy TARS via the source code. Bye bye.